Hey there, this is Teacher Love Podcast, episode 159, How to Track Learning Language Progress. My name is Ola and I'm an online English teacher. I believe you can eliminate your language blockade. The secret word here is consistency. There are other secret words too. That's why I record this podcast episode and each comes with a little worksheet, a one pager to help you digest and test what you've practiced here. You can speak English with more confidence, slay that fear and enjoy communication. Visit my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. Visit my shop at teacherola.com and enjoy your journey to fluency. Happy learning! Hello and thank you for pressing or tapping play. I'm so glad you're here because this episode is really important. Today you'll find out whether your goals are sensible, doable and how to track the progress. Before we get into the episode, let me tell you I'm working on my Speak English with TV series course, a program focused on one skill only, speaking. So grab a checklist, the link is in the description and see if the course is right for you. Also, every Thursday at 11 a.m. I go live for a quick chat with you. You'll find me as teacherola.podcast. So join me on Thursday at 11 live on Instagram. Visit my shop, buy a worksheet set and have your worksheets in one place. They're editable, they include a habit tracker, also, check out my ebook with episode transcript. If you'd like to join my lessons in a small group of six people or one to one classes, let me know. Write an email or catch me on Instagram. Thanks for your patience and let's get back to the episode. To measure the progress, we need to set goals in the first place. So, what should be your goal? Passing an exam and obtaining a certificate should not be your goal. Moving on from B2 to C1 level should not be your goal. I just sort of assume you're here to start speaking English fluently. Beat your fear of speaking and enjoy communication. How can any certificate help you achieve that? Well, it cannot. Only you can track your progress and only you can say at some point in your language journey that, okay, now I'm fluent, I speak my mind and I'm satisfied. The so-called problem with this perspective I've just presented is that it's hard to measure. It's actually impossible to measure it. So you got to set yourself a different goal. Set something more of a system. Set a system, enter the system and track your progress this way. All that goals give you is just something to point towards. Goals don't guarantee you'll make any progress. They're nothing. I want to speak English fluently. Okay, I've got that. You've got your goal, but don't stop here. Set a system, set the running system because this is your real goal, you know? The system is your goal. The system gives you a real, tangible, visible progress. Let me tell you the details. I will now recommend something unpopular. Normally you're told by teachers what to do precisely, what to read, what to listen to, what words to learn. Now I'd like you to listen to yourself. Trust your intuition. While building your system, listen to your guts. And before I move on, I have to direct you to episode 76 titled Buy a Notebook and Do This for 10 Minutes a Day. It's top, obviously. I wanted to mention it because it gives you a ready-made system. However, it's not tailored to suit your needs, your particular personal needs, because nobody can do this for you. The system I presented in episode 76 is fantastic. It'll give you results if you stick to it patiently, but it's not tailored to suit your needs. The best thing about the system put in place is that it builds a new person. You say you want to become fluent and fearless in speaking English. What do you think such a person does? They speak English fluently whenever and wherever they wish. So what you should be doing? You should do it every day until you're able to say I speak English fluently every day, right? It's logical. If you want to become a dancer, you start dancing. You dance regularly until you're able to say 
I'm a dancer because I dance every day and I, I feel I'm good at it. Coming back to the system. Now, here's where you gotta listen to yourself, your intuition. You cannot do everything at once. You have to pick something and stick to it until you have enough experience with this method to say that you need a change. I say it's at least one full month, 30 days. You can choose between. Speak to yourself out loud every day. Do something uncomfortable, that is, speak English to a foreigner or an online tutor. Record an audio of yourself speaking English. Or translate five sentences into English and say them out loud. Watch a TV series in English and make notes of useful phrases and say them out loud. Personalize the vocabulary from the show you've watched by building probable dialogues to use in the future. Or stick to a learning system you have in place. Or just get back to that online course you bought some time ago and do it daily. These are just few ideas of things you could be doing daily to start speaking English. Build yourself a system, build habits and track them. Track them because if you are able to say that, okay, look at the habit tracker, I've just done 30 days of speaking English out loud for 20 minutes and I've done my word cards every day for 30 days. I have also left my comfort zone twice this month and I spoke English with someone, be it an online tutor, a phone call, a language exchange, or just a tourist you met on the town. Well, what does it all sound like? Because to me, it sounds like somebody has met his or her goal and I love it. If you have a system in place, it'll inevitably drive you towards fluency. It has to. There is no magic solution, no magic wand. If you do something long enough, patiently and consistently, you see the results. End of story. Nobody can do it for you, but you can. And I believe you will. And the feeling that comes after a month of solid work towards your goal, it's hard to describe. You will feel fulfilled. You'll feel that you can do it and it'll boost your confidence. When you see the progress, you see the ticks in your habit tracker, you see the results and you are driven to go on. You'll be unstoppable and you will go to that job interview in English or you'll visit your kids who live in the UK or you'll travel abroad on your own. And you'll do it in no time. As you know, each episode includes this practical part where you speak English out loud. Let's do it now. Listen and repeat. How can any certificate help you achieve that? How can any certificate help you achieve that? It's actually impossible to measure it. It's actually impossible to measure it. Goals don't guarantee you'll make any progress. Goals don't guarantee you'll make any progress. The running system is your real goal. The running system is your real goal. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. It's not tailored to suit your personal particular needs because nobody can do this for you. It's not tailored to suit your personal particular needs because nobody can do this for you. You cannot do everything at once. 
You cannot do everything at once. You have to pick something and stick to it until you have enough experience. You have to pick something and stick to it until you have enough experience. If you have a system in place, it'll inevitably drive you towards fluency. If you have a system in place, it'll inevitably drive you towards fluency. If you do something long enough, patiently and consistently, you see the results. If you do something long enough, patiently and consistently, you see the results. When you see the progress, you see the results and you are driven to go on. When you see the progress, you see the results and you are driven to go on. Amazing! Now go to your inbox and get the worksheet to test yourself. Translate the sentences into English because each episode is a practical and free class. If you are not a member of Top People, download the worksheet from teacherola.com forward slash 159 and by doing that you'll become a member and receive my weekly newsletter. If you find this episode useful, tell your friends about my podcast. And thank you so very much for doing so. Please also rate this podcast wherever you listen, be it Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, YouTube. Thank you. Thank you again. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Happy learning. Take care. Stay curious and say it out loud. Bye.